Hello, welcome back to a new video. I hope that you're doing really well. Very exciting news, we've got the labourers in the house today. So we've got a plasterer and he's got a guy with him who's just gonna help him with all of the little bee bits. They're starting upstairs today. They're gonna plaster, start plastering the ceilings of some of the rooms. We walked them through all of the jobs that we did in the last video, if you missed that, go and have a look because we tried our hand at some plasterboard work, um, some demolition work, and um, we've essentially changed the shape of two rooms in the house in only a day, which I'm really proud of. Yeah, I walked them around and he seemed like, not impressed, but he was a bit like, oh yeah, fair, like we can work with this, this is cool. Um, some of the doubts that I had about the integrity of the plasterboard because it had gotten damaged when we were demolishing and stuff. He was like, don't worry about it. I just put like tape over it and it helps with the integrity and then I can fill it and blah, blah, blah. So really, really happy, even with the coving that we took down, you know, it left all those huge chunks of adhesive and, and then quite thick gaps along the top of the plasterboards that used to be there. He was like, not a problem, honestly, it's not a problem. So really happy to hear that. So I was kind of thinking, oh God, what if he comes and he's like, oh, we're gonna have to take some more boards down, blah, 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 but no, everything is good. They're currently upstairs prepping two of the rooms to start plastering today so that they can then work through the rest of the rooms upstairs. And then he wants to tackle the landing because the landing has got some of the bowed plasterboards and he did mentioned to us like yeah this is quite a big job um it's not it's not difficult for them to do but it would have been a bit of a handful for us to try and um, but he was like oh I'm, I'm doing this da, 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 da. he knew what he was doing so that makes me feel really at ease um but yeah really excited they're all working they're prepping everything and also so funny he said that um when he was on tiktok the other day i came up on his feed and he was like I know this girl so I was like oh well that's kind of a good segue in because I would like to film if you don't mind he was like yeah let's go for it let's film everything so we're gonna get some good footage which makes me really excited because I always get really nervous with labourers because I never know how they want like obviously they're well within their rights to not want to be filmed or anything but um it's always really good for footage for you guys and for me because it's so satisfying seeing it all done welcome to the new video I hope that you're gonna enjoy it Right, the guys have gone out for their lunch really quickly, so I'm gonna run up the stairs um, and try and show you a little sneak peek of how it's looking. It looks so good, I'm so, so happy. It's, oh, I can't actually believe it. This is currently how it's looking. It does get very messy, so if you were considering, you know, getting your ceilings plastered, this is kind of how it looks. Look at that ceiling, it looks so good. So this is the other one. Um, they have two guys, they've got a, a plasterer and a labourer. The labourer guy is just a young guy and I guess he's just kind of there for the tidy up and some of the, you know, less fun jobs. He's been scraping the ceiling and then they go in with a PVA solution and then our plasterer Alfie has plastered this. He said he did two coats of the skim and then he went over with a brush and then using a trowel to delicately smooth everything over. I mean, it looks really good. He said that there are going to be some patches just because of the, just because of the texture before. So I guess unless he were to just keep doing layers and layers, it's going to be slight patches. But he said as soon as we paint it, it's, you're not going to barely see it. I mean, you can barely see it now anyway. It looks like he's using this drips and stuff. And then I guess they're going to work on into here. They've got huge, huge buckets and brushes and stuff. Like, this is what you pay for, isn't it? this is it really and then that's the bucket of pva i guess that they're using with a big roller so i haven't really been able to get much footage of them doing stuff just yet because i just wanted to let them crack on because um they were meant to come yesterday but they've had to but they were only able to make it today so not that they were a day behind because they'll continue but i just wanted to let them get on with it you know i didn't want to be in their hair the camera can i film you what are you doing i feel like i'm already asking a million questions because i'm just so intrigued but i was like oh yeah i really love diy like i was going to ask i don't know if it's cheeky like when you're doing one of the walls if you could like maybe let me try and give me some tips and I can see how it how it is and he's like oh absolutely so I'm buzzing about that really excited they got here at eight o'clock in the morning as well so that's going to be our life for the next um couple of maybe like a week I don't know I feel like they've made such good progress it's taken them a couple of hours to do a room um, but that was quite a large room as well um, and they're going to get into the flow of things I'm sure because a lot of it was us walking through the house and set up and stuff but yeah I'm buzzing that room looks amazing already and it's really made me eager to start looking at wardrobes from Ikea to fill that space um, but we'll talk about that in another video anyway it's lunchtime and I'm starving I want to say thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this part of the video if you don't know by now we love HelloFresh over in this household and I'm sure a lot of you do too but if you don't know I'm I'm going to give you a little rundown on what HelloFresh is all about. So it is a to your door meal kit delivery service 
fantastic the food is amazing we love it so much you're able to pick meals for the week they get delivered to your door they're all portioned up they come in these little bags that just have everything that you need in there perfect portion sizes for the amount of people that you've ordered the meals for and it's the most simple cooking process ever i love cooking with HelloFresh. me and rob actually normally do it as a bit of a date night because it's just really fun we get to have like this recipe card like i'll show you the one that i'm going to do today you get a recipe card it's got a gorgeous picture on the front and then it's got all of the step-by-step -step instructions with pictures as well so if you're not very confident in the kitchen don't worry about it they make it so simple they outline every single thing like measurements to the cup to the gram how to cook things even like they teach you how to cook the rice like it's all the way down to the most simple things really really good value for money i think they start at like £3.15 per meal portion you can custom that to however many people live in your house or if you're away for a week you can stop it for a week or if you've got more people visiting you for a week you can can add on more portions for the week it's really really customizable and for us especially with all of our diy stuff i love it for things like this like i'm currently working in the sitting room i've got so many emails to get through I'm currently trying to film them guys like give them cups of tea rob's busy working as well so i love the quick recipes they're really good because you can get them done in like 20 minutes proper proper recommend hello fresh we've been using it for so long now it's probably coming up to two years now really really recommend it personally if you would like to try hello fresh out then i will leave a code on the screen in the description box as well and i'm going to pop a qr code here so you can just grab your phone uh, go on the camera and you can zap it and it will take you straight to the website with my discount code linked in so that's going to get you 60 percent off your first box and 25 percent off your next two Two months worth of boxes that's huge huge savings and when I said from £3.15 per portion earlier earlier that's actually without this discount applied on top so you're gonna make great savings so definitely try it if you haven't tried it before really recommend and if it's not for you that's fine you can cancel it at any time super super good but yeah so gonna make this um, teriyaki sambal chicken donburi bowl I feel like that's a very lunchtime vibe you know so we've got lots of vegetables there, some good protein in the chicken and some rice. Okay, let's get cooking because I'm, I'm so hungry. guys sorry i didn't do much of an update after yesterday um i've just looked at the footage and i kind of just stopped filming um it's a new morning the plaster is the back it's half eight they're prepping one of them's gone out to go and get something else um they're so good i really 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 like them really good crack as well but yeah so they're currently prepping some more of the rooms to be done today they're trying to get through four ceilings today which is amazing um, they're here nice and early and last night I didn't show you but I me and Rob kept admiring the other ceilings so so happy with them um, Rob makes me laugh because he's like I can't tell the difference <laughs> he's like you know me I can barely tell the difference but to me it's made such a such a huge difference I feel like it's actually made the ceilings feel higher like taller if that makes sense they definitely haven't because they've actually come down a couple of mil but the smoothness of it just really just does something to the room so I'm more than chuffed so much more than chuffed we left the rooms open um we left the windows open a tad in each of the rooms just so that any of the moisture from the plaster can escape the room and air itself out a little bit easy but it's kind of that chilly weather now so it's probably going to take a little bit longer to dry than if it were in the midst of summer um but that's fine we don't have any kind of deadlines with the drying time so that's all good um and then I think maybe tomorrow might be the day that I get to try my hand at a little bit of plastering, which is exciting. But yeah, I'm just sat doing a little bit of work today. I've got so much work to catch up on, which I keep, think I just keep saying that's all I'm saying at the minute. So I'm having a cup of tea, getting on with my, my work, my emails, and um, trying to edit these videos to get them out to you so I can be a better YouTuber because I'm really rubbish one. Okay, I think the guys are out on a little break. So I've come to have a sneak. Ooh. so this is our main bedroom we've just popped the bed over to the side and it looks like they've got set up i think they've plastered the ceilings um, plus <laughs> i think they've pva the ceilings they've got that kind of like shiny gloss look to them 
You can see where they've scraped off all of the old Artex. We have had this tested to make sure that it's not um, asbestos, by the way, don't worry. I'm really looking forward to having this room done. I just feel like once this one's done, I can really go to town planning how our bedroom's gonna look. I've already bought the paint, but I held off painting it. I've got a really gorgeous chocolate brown color, if I remember correctly. But I really wanna do some proper mood boarding and I really wanna make it a space that we just love. Like our last house, like our last house that we lived in, I think I've really underestimated how much of a beautiful space that was because we lived in it. And I just kind of like did it on a whim. I didn't ever really put a lot of thought behind it, but it, I look back at pictures now and I'm like, that's actually stunning. Like it's, it was actually so beautiful. I think I might do something similar. I'm kind of a bit like, I don't know. I feel a bit like, oh, well I had it before and it feels like everyone's got board and batten behind their bed everywhere you look on online, but it's not about that. It's about how it makes you feel, isn't it? So I like that look and I think I might just go for it again because I don't want to necessarily just paint the walls. I feel like it needs a little something behind that wall because it is quite long. Just paint it might just kind of like, might just lose the bed and the bed size in, in that. So if I put some board and batten, or maybe some paneling because I do love a traditional style paneling like a molding or a beading love that look like I did in my mum and dad's room and that's very very glamorous very very sophisticated but I really love the board and batten look because like the tongue and groove but you can fake it with the MDF I really love that look feels much more like kind of cozy vibes I'm not necessarily trying to make my house a cottage like I always say like cottage core cottage inspired I think there are some elements of that style that I do like but I do still also like the sophisticated I do still like the neutral like the kind of black tones on things but then I love a sage green I just I'm just going to do a bit of a mix of everything but I think that's why I need to kind of come up with a bit of a mood board to see what it is that we will love so that we get it right because I don't want to have to keep changing the room up I want it to to last by the way this is an update of this room it looks like it's drying out already this is going to be the wardrobe room so behind me is going to be a full wall of wardrobes and then across this way and then also down this wall too very excited done pretty early on in your renovation process whatever makes sense but I would not recommend painting walls etc because they do get cleaned up afterwards but I think it will impact paint on the walls I'm not too bothered about this room because I never really fell in love with it I do really like the green but I kind of regretted the choice I made a few weeks after I painted it and I never really fully moved into this room so this room will be getting changed anyway has kind of drained down the walls and then some of the plaster hits it too. It does get washed down, but it just doesn't fully come off. So just consider that if you're looking to get your ceilings done and you've got lovely painted walls because you will need to redecorate them. So that leads me into this room. We only just really did this room. I love this color, but I am fully aware that these walls will end up being coated in the PVA, the plaster. So I think what I'll do is in anticipation of the ceilings being done and the walls being here, I might go out and buy the same colour. It's Mountain Hideaway by Valspar. It's a really gorgeous brown colour. It's very, very cosy, but it lets enough light into the room and keeps it nice and bright while still feeling really snug. And yeah, I love it. And it kind of goes with the theme and the kind of interior design style that I'm going for. I literally cannot wait until this ceiling is smooth. Imagine this shot here just with a smooth ceiling. Oh, love it. And then I'm gonna get lots of lamps to make it feel cozy. But yeah, just thought I'd point that out because it is something I've noticed as the walls have been being done. It absolutely does get splattered all across your walls. So just bear that in mind. Hi guys. Sorry, I'm just turning the football down in the background. First of all, I really hate when people do this, but I really want to address how awful I look at the minute. My skin is broken out. I've been really, really stressed. So please just ignore that. Anywho, moving Bye. on swiftly. Um, Rob is currently clearing outside. 
he absolutely hates the dust left behind by like the plastering work and stuff even though the guys really do tidy up after themselves as best they can there's just that lingering layer of dust so once everything's settled in a couple of hours I hate dust. he goes running hoovers mops everything now we have just had our ceilings done in our bedroom in fact let me go and show you because i haven't showed you those rooms yet oh the battery's gonna die i'm gonna try and show you really quickly this is what we're working with in our bedroom ceilings are all done this section here i was going to try and take that out but it's actually got like a steel beam in there so we will not be removing that we're just gonna have to work with this little feature and then the ensuite i haven't actually seen this the seamless together on suite is done as well yeah as you can see everything gets really really dusty from the wet plaster but it's kind of like dust it just rubs off honestly so don't worry about it but everything will require a rub down and a wipe down and then they've also done our main bathroom can't turn the light on in there because it's kind of dangling off but you can see um apparently there's a lot of condensation that comes with plastering so best to leave the window slightly ajar uh, just to let all of that condensation out so that the ceilings can dry through. You can start to see in this room how quickly they're drying. Weird how they're in stripes like that. I wonder if that's for any particular reason. This is our plan this evening because our room has been plastered out. We probably technically could sleep there, but we'd rather not. So we're gonna have a little, a little sleepover club going on. Oh yeah. Um, I think we should do both of them so that we get a better night's sleep because you can almost make like a proper bed with both of the blow ups on top. We just went to the shops and grabbed a couple of snacks. So we've got, Rob's got some cherry cola, I've got some apple and pear juice, uh, a whisper, chocolate mousse, Rob's got a cake and a tiramisu and we've got some flaming hot giant wassets to snack on. Should be fun, we make the most of it and we'll check in in the morning. guys good morning welcome back to the vlog it's actually coming on 11 o'clock today we've had a late start builders are downstairs they're trying to box in some water pipes that were exposed when we took down the coven in the dining room so if you live in an older house just be conscious that they used to put coven everywhere so it was kind of a way to hide pipes cables they didn't really top off plasterboard all the way to the ceiling so there might be quite a few fixes to do with that so the builders just now boxing in some pipes that are exposed I prefer not to have done that but I can't tuck the wires in they're like solid so we're creating a little box off situation and I'll show you when it's all done but I need to get that in place so we went to B&Q the other day picked up a bucket and this plasterboard adhesive by the brand Holden Volden and it was like eight pounds or something so it's not expensive and the bucket was one pound I might also have this and i think this is called like a paddle mixer these are like 15 quid from being q and they're really handy if you're ever mixing up like large pots of paint things like cement concrete plasterboard adhesive any kind of like tile adhesive that you've got to mix it's really good because you just attach it and it does all of it for you you've just got to literally stand there so what i'm going to do is try and i don't need a lot of it so i'm going to try and mix up like a, a small portion So we're so so we're gonna pass this for you do the same as what you're gonna do there. But I thought we'd just start in a dab and Yeah. Now. Right. But you're gonna to need to learn how to go like that. Yeah. And take a bit off. Yeah. So you've got to remember gravity gravity's real because if I just go like that, it's gonna flop off. When right. it's passed, it just flops straight off. Yeah. Lean your hawk to your trowel. Right. Like that. Yeah. So you tip your hawk up and all in one motion you just go like that and you keep you keep your trowel like that. Right. Like that. Yeah. 
And do I put the whole lot off in one go? No, you take okay. half. Half. But you need that. Right. <laughs> and when you're done with dabbing, pour it. Is that literally all it is? Yeah. Well, I could do that. I thought, because <laughs> of how it looked when I took the plasterboard off, I thought you had to like, like whack it at the wall. <laughs> That's what I would have been doing if you hadn't come up here after Just start whacking it here, throwing it right at the wall. <laughs> right, okay, I've got this. Stand, I'll stand on the wood and try it, because you can't, <laughs> it's going to get ruined. So you know how you kept like, turning it on itself, do I need to do that or I just yeah, take half? Yeah. Oh, right, so, like that. Sort of, yeah, but you've took the whole thing. Right. <laughs> right, look, look, look. Pause it. You ain't got, you haven't got to take the whole thing. Right. So you ain't got to turn it. You ain't got to right. do that and turn it. Oh, is that how you get it off on the side, right? Ah. Right. Get it across the top. And then take a bit. Oh, shit. Like that? Yeah, yeah. And then? And then you put it on. <laughs> yeah, like that, yeah. A bit, a bit like that, yeah. I spread it too much, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Right, so this bit now, do I take the whole lot? Yeah, you can do if you want, if you're feeling confident. Oh, no, I don't know about that. So, like that. That was a good one. Yeah, that was, yeah. Right. That was a good one. And then you just dab it on the wall. Yeah, like that. I'm scared it's going to come off there. That was a good one. Yeah, that was good, yeah. Right, everyone, this is Alfie. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Alfie from AWA Home Improvements. In the Cambridgeshire area. Yeah, and Lincolnshire area. Lincolnshire and Cambridge. He's doing a brilliant job and he's just taught me how to um, board all of this up and then he's said to me, I need to now plaster all of this wall um, under his supervision. But he's going to give us some tips. Right, so you're right handed, so you're going to want to start from left to right. It sounds weird going left to right when you're right handed, but you're pulling out your lines as you're going along. So and then that's just going to leave it nice and smooth for the next coat. But in between each coat, you want to wet up all your corners, wet it all up, just give it a nice light go over, and then that's where the fun starts to begin really. So when you say wet it up, like literally with water? So with, with a brush, with a brush and a bit of water on it, you go down all your corners, go around all your corners to smooth all the corners out and make them a bit nicer, and then you pull from left obviously, you go along, you pull all the corners out and everything, you smooth all your lines out between each coat and then second coat, that's where mainly are like, really important because you're then going on to finishing, so yeah. Which Alfie's going to do? No, <laughs> no I'll let you do that bit. <laughs> and he said we're going to use, um, what's that tape called? Scrim tape. Scrim tape to where that's all damaged, it just provides a bit more structure when the plaster's on top so we don't have to really worry about that. And we're going to put a corner bead here as well, just to... And then you'll, you'll, we're going to scrim tape each side of the corner bead, just so it will prevents cracking in the future. And scrim tape all round, all the edges, all your corners need scrim taping all up there, it just prevents all cracking in the ceilings. Right, nice. And would you say, do you scrim tape where like we've ripped that out as well? So where the joins are here, so I can see a join here, so I'll cover that, I'll uncover that joint with a knife, same as that one, and then I'll put a bit of scrim tape over that so it prevents cracking again. Oh right, so you like make it worse before you make it better? Kind of, yeah, yeah. You, you don't really have to go over it because it's not cracked, um, you don't have to put a knife in it. That's something what I like to do just to make sure that it really does prevent cracking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then you should be all good to go. Just go over the whole 
So you start always start from the left of the wall to the right. Right. But for now, just do it. Just get it's used to doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Right, I've just had a go at trying to plaster part of this wall and it is so much harder than you think. Well, I think with time and practice you could definitely learn how to do it quicker and smoother but it was quite hard like moving the trowel in the right angle, having enough on it and just getting a smooth finish. Alfie had to go over and try to smooth out what, what was on there as best as he could but this is basically the base coat and then he says he leaves it maybe up to half an hour to an hour I think and then he comes back and then he'll do the second coat which is about a mil thick and then afterwards he comes back with um, like a brush and he smooths everything down to make it a proper smooth surface because you can see it's got little bits of reflections of where it's still a little bit bumpy. These little bits here where there's been dry plaster on the trowel and it's just scratched through the plaster he said not to worry about that because you can level things out and make it much smoother in the second go. And then things like the corners you see it looks a little bit it looks like it's messy but you come back with a with a wet water brush and you just brush it all down and it makes everything smooth and then i asked him about this because i've always wondered about these corner beads because they're metal i didn't know if you'd have to try to overcompensate with plaster and get them to cover it but he said you don't have to you just you go with the plaster up to the bead and then you can um, paint that as well and then with the skirting board you don't have to go all the way down to the bottom of the plaster just far enough so that the skirting will cover it you don't have to worry about it being really neat and tidy down there and then edges like this where you're joining onto another piece of plasterboard that already lives there it's called feathering but apparently that's much more difficult to do because you have to try and get it to smoothen out and kind of like merge in as best as you can so definitely glad that I've tried it but I don't think don't think I'm going to be a pro anytime soon. Good morning. It's actually afternoon now. It's about, it's one o'clock, five past one. Um, I wanted to jump on and conclude the video, but I wanted to give you a little update of what the rooms look like upstairs because it has been a fair few days since they were all done. It's actually Sunday today. So it's been nearly a full week of plastering and little jobs in the house. Um, I hope you've really enjoyed this video so far. But yeah, I just wanted to do a bit of a tidy up. I'm actually starting to put away loads of decorations as well because it's now the 1st of November, 1st? 5th of November. <laughs> That's a very big difference, Shade. I have, honestly, I haven't got a clue what day it is at the minute. But yeah, we're tidying up and Rob, who might have just popped his head around the corner, is going to be taking off all the coving on the ceiling in the living room today. It's the last lot of coving that we've got to take off in the house. I'm honestly so grateful for the fact that they only put it in three rooms downstairs as opposed to the whole house. I don't know why, but I really want to say thank you to whoever made that executive decision because it was awful, awful to take off. So yeah, let's do a quick roundup and then um, we can start a fresh next week with a whole lot of new stuff to do, to do. Dining room update. This is how we look. I'm really, really happy with it. It's a room that only got done on Friday, so it is still drying out again. This is about two days worth of drying out. This is the first example of a room that had coving in and how it will look afterwards. Looks pretty good. I know it looks very messy. There's literally plaster all down the walls, but once it's all dried and repainted, it looks like it's gonna just look normal, which we're really happy about. This little section here that never used to be there, but we've had to put a little box around some water pipes that we found behind the clothing. Really happy. I was just able to get rid of the green wardrobe doors that we took down in the last episode. They were the sister wardrobes in the two back bedrooms. Managed to get rid of those on Facebook Marketplace. I've given them to someone for free. They took all of them. So they're gonna go to a new home, which I'm really happy about. Let's come into the room, which will be the new guest bedroom. And this is the room that we 
knocked it all out and we've plastered it all. Look at that, it looks brilliant. Let me show you properly. So you would have seen me plaster some of this wall or attempt to plaster some of this wall. My plasterer, he's such a lovely guy and he said that I could absolutely try my hand at it because he said, once you get into it, once you understand the movements and stuff, you could absolutely do it yourself for smaller projects. I mean, the bigger ones like plastering all your ceilings is quite the expectation. But he said in the future, I could definitely try to do smaller projects which I'm really happy about. I try to show you as much as possible of what he's done so that hopefully if you are wanting to attempt stuff at home on your own, then you can do. If you've got any more questions for like more specific things, leave them in the comments and I'll try to ask my builder um, before he leaves. And the other guy that you might have saw here is Alfie's labourer. So he's the guy who's kind of like helping Alfie tidy up and keep everything clean um, and helps him like get everything ready he's not actually a plasterer but he wanted to try his hand at it as well so he tried a little bit of the wall but then Alfie at the end when he'd let us you know do what we were doing he was like right I'm gonna go smooth this all out now and where I was really struggling to get it smooth and I was trying so hard he literally was like boom boom smooth it looked like gloss immediately and I was like how are you doing that like I don't feel like I'm doing it any different but he was laughing he was like you'll get used to it but yeah he smoothed it all out so that I've got a lovely smooth ball because we didn't want that to look like I'd literally plastered it. Okay, looking in this way, I would love your idea. So you can see the plaster on both of the ceilings is pretty much dry. There are some tiny, tiny little patches. This is our main bedroom, if you don't know. And then this is the second bedroom, but we're gonna turn that into the wardrobe room. So it was the guest room, but we're now gonna turn it into our kind of like second space that we can get ready in and make much more use of. But I would love your ideas. What do you think about decorating this room? I can't wait to get a clean layer of white paint on the ceilings and just change things up in here and make it so much more cozy but obviously so grateful to just have a roof over our heads regardless but it just doesn't feel cozy at night and I just really want a space so we can retreat to and have a full relaxation and restore every single night and wake up with like a fresh mindset so any ideas I would love to hear them and then in this bedroom I'm really excited about this so this is now going to become our wardrobe space and we're actually going to be putting these wardrobes all down this wall as far as they'll go obviously without the door being in the way but can you see the panels these are our existing panels that we dismantled from the other bedroom and they actually are so slim I thought they would come out from back at the wall to where they are now but they actually don't even touch the wall yet so imagine them going all the way left how much room we will have down here these two which we already have existing will probably fill this space and then we'll have a bunch more down there and that will be more than enough now when I was initially designing it I was also thinking to put some down this wall but again as I say having seen it in person I don't think we'll need to do that it might be a little bit of overkill what we might actually be able to do because I've always loved this idea is have some sort of little island in the middle where I can use it as a space to put makeup on or do my hair without having to have a dedicated dressing table so I'm thinking to put some sort of island in the middle on caster wheels so I can move it around and that will give us space if we need to move stuff and get over to this section more because I think if we would have wardrobes both sides I wouldn't really have a lot of room in the middle to have an island but we'll have to see bathroom as well looking like it's dried brilliantly and we've already been in that room the last room to look out is Rob's office area see how that's going lovely still drying out a little bit but we've got the windows cranked open and this was actually only plastered on friday as well so it's going to take another couple of days to dry out uh, i honestly feel so happy guys like this has been such a project that's loomed over our heads for a long time and i wish i'd done it sooner but you know can't wish things away that's not how it worked out timing is everything and i believe things happen for a reason um it's really given me that kind of boost that I've needed to feel inspiration for the house. I'm really excited, I'm so buzzing. So yeah, I'm thinking for the next couple of projects, I'm gonna have to tidy up the living room again because you've seen the state of the dining room, <laughs> that's gonna happen in here as well. So what we're gonna have to do is once the plaster's dry is give everything a recoat and bring it back to kind of how it looks now and then kind of slowly work our way through the rest of the rooms. But I'm thinking the two main next projects, actually I'm kind of spoiled for choice now because I really wanna get our room done so it feels cozy, especially before the kind of like winter season. But then I wanna do the guest bedroom because I've really, I've got such big plans for that and I just think that's gonna make such an impact like immediately and then I'm thinking of the wardrobe room I really want to get that done as well because that's a practical and functional space for us we kind of do actually need that done else we're going to be living in mayhem with all the clothes tossed everywhere but I'm just spoiled for choice I don't know what to do I feel very lucky I really do
anyway i think that's it for this video guys and um, we've done a lot we've learned some new skills we've gotten a lot of progress done things are underway next week so from tomorrow um our plasterers are coming back and they're going to be plastering all of the downstairs pretty much and those loft boards the ones in the landing upstairs that are bowed so there's going to be a couple of bigger projects coming our way and then thereafter is when i'm going to need to start making decisions about what we're doing in certain rooms so there's going to be lots of mood boarding lots of inspiration from magazines from readly from pinterest from youtube from instagram i my all of my feeds are just curated for things to do with the house which i absolutely love and then at some point we're going to be probably going out and doing some shopping i'm going to need an ikea trip again it's all happening i'm really happy guys thank you so much for hanging on with me and rob for the journey it takes a little while to get settled and to get in the stride of things i didn't want to just immediately throw ourselves into diys and regret them later on and kind of it's a lot of money you know building a home so i just want to say thank you for sticking along because it really means a lot it really does and if you're new here and you enjoyed that video please do like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next upload it's always a fun game with me when i'm going to upload them you never know <laughs> anyway i'm rambling now i'm just going on and on but it's just because i'm so excited i really feel like a whole new person it's breathed life into me anyway as always guys take care of yourselves i'll see you in the next one lots of love bye